In this video I'm cleaning the fan inside an Xbox 360 Slim power supply. They get dusty over time and the fan starts to get real loud. It's a fairly straightforward fix if that's what yours is doing. There's just four screws here under these little covers. I popped the other ones off just to speed things along. They are a security bit or a torx bit. When you get to here just be careful separating this because there's a cable going from one side to the other you don't want to pull it the cable is here if you want to release it be careful especially if your power supply is being on touching any of these capacitors you don't want to electrocute yourself you can give that a bit of a clean if you want and then here is the shroud your fan is under that These are just Phillips screws. Here's your fan. As you can see. I mean, this one isn't even too bad. They can be really, really bad because you know where they're normally left on the ground or behind the TV, and they just. The next part is these two little screws here. I take these off before you unscrew the fan. It just may matter, but I find it easier. These are all Phillips again. So you can see here then just to pop off this shroud, just these little tabs. You just put your so here you are at the fan. So just give the fan a clean. The fan just lifts out if you want to separate to really clean it. Once you're happy that you've your fan cleaned, I just used a bit of compressed air and a toothbrush and some isopropyl alcohol. Reassembly is fairly straightforward. The clips just push together. your bigger three bigger clips uh, 
You want to screw these down tight. Now you don't want them like crazy tight, but you don't want them loose either where they're going to rattle once you put it back together. So you know it is plastic, so you don't have to go crazy on it. But you want it tight, snug anyway. Some people when they're putting a the fan back together like to use grease. I don't like to put grease in it because I just feel it's a place to, for the dirt to get attracted to and stick and just cause you further problems down the line. Maybe if you could see evidence of who's fan was rubbing, maybe then consider using the grease. But I don't. Finally, when you get to here, don't forget to connect the fan back in or you won't have any power. your power supply back together just stick back in your four hog screws and your little feet and you're done fairly straightforward just remember to be careful when you open it up especially if it's been plugged in in case the capacitor still are holding a bit of a charge but if it's power supply is really loud that's more than likely to cause thanks for watching